I have this Sweet Pea perfume that I need to use up, but I hate using it because it reminds me of middle school in the worst way fucking possible. Like we all have a, uh, like a scent or a taste that's like, mmm, that reminds me of a bad time. I haven't really done anything today, honestly. I did some chores. That's about it. I'm going to get, I'm not going to get a tattoo. My friend is going to get a tattoo and I'm going with her. My mom's at chemo treatment right now, so I'm home alone, which means I've been blasting music and pissing off my neighbors. That's pretty much all I do now that I'm graduated. I just blast music all day and definitely make my neighbors want to call the cops. But, um, oh my God! That a low-key said I didn't for close to me, but we're not gonna talk about it because it definitely didn't. Anywho, I was thinking about something. There was a boy I talked to for like a brief moment in time. And oh, oh my fucking God. When I tell you this dude was a mama's boy in the worst fucking way, oh my God. It makes me want to like curl into a ball and throw up. Oh, it makes me nauseous. Dude was a mama's boy in an incesty way. Now, don't know for that for sure. I'm not saying it's like that actually. But oh my god, his mom was like obsessed with him and would always post him and like tea was the only thing she'd talk about and he was just like every single like thing about him was literally mama's boy in the worst fucking way possible. Oh my god, it makes me want to shrivel up just thinking about it. Oh my god, and that brings me to another thing that I wanted to talk about. Was anyone else ever around those guys who would just talk about their moms or their sister's boobs like it was normal and like it was okay to talk about your family's titties? Because I was around so many guys like that for no fucking reason. What makes you think you can talk about your sister's, you know, titty size? Because there was a student around, he would brag about how big his sister's boobs were and how big his mom's boobs were and all the other dudes would be like, oh, my sister's got small tits or, oh yeah, my sister's got big ass tits, yeah. Like, are you trying to brag about it to other, you're like your guy friends so that they come over? If so, why are you pimping out your sister? In general, it's just weird as fuck. Why are you doing that? It's weird. Stop. Oh my God. I like to think that I'm the only one who's like been around that, but I just know, I know for sure that I'm not. Because there are so many gross people, men, who specifically talk about their family like that. And I don't understand it at all. Why the fuck would you talk about your family like that? That's disgusting. Oh my God, why? That is your sister. Are you in love with your sister? Oh my God, another thing. We were all around those, that one pair of siblings at school where you could low key, like it was weird because it was like, hmm, are they normal siblings or is something going on there? Because at my school, when I was in high school, we all had, we there at my school, fuck, what am I trying to say? At my school, there was a pair of siblings where you were like, that's a little weird. That dynamic is a little weird. And I feel like at most schools, that shit happens. So that was my TikTok. Thanks for listening. Okay, wait, we should do an OOTD. It's freezing outside now that it's fall. Okay, it's not freezing. I'm over exaggerating. Oh my God. I just left the door open slightly and that motherfucker is a runner. She's a runner and a track star. That was cringy. Let's do an OOTD. And now I don't know where half of this is from. <laughs> earrings the hoops they're from target same as usual same as usual from last time etsy anna this is for my sister this is for my sister pretty sure this is from sheen i don't know where she got this this is my omi's necklace cargo pants are from target uh converse don't know where they're from but I'm really liking the fit today. It's so cute. Look at it. I have my senior pictures on Monday. And so I. Uh, you look kind of stupid right now, not gonna lie. Hey, Pippa. <laughs> You're fine. Look at her tail. 
You're okay. Okay. Anyways, my senior pictures are on Monday, so I was going to wear a dress. Don't think I am now. I'm going to wear this with a white little tank top under it and my orange skirt that I have. <gasps> Pippa, I'm trying to talk. Please, just give me a minute. Then you can bark, okay? God. And then I think I'm going to wear the same top, like top option with these pants. I haven't fully figured out the outfits I want to wear. This is probably the makeup I'm going to do, probably the jewelry I'll wear. I don't really know. I think I'm going to go to Scooters to get a smoothie because their smoothies are really good. If you have a Scooters around you, get the Wild Berry Smoothie. That shit is gas. Oh my gosh. I get that all the time whenever I'm out. Because I thought the Scooters was like just some nasty crap coffee joint thing. Turns out it's not that bad because they made one right by me, so I don't know. It's okay. But I'm... I don't know what else to talk about. It's funny because I talk all the time to myself. I have so many conversations with myself and I can talk for hours with my family. But as soon as I start recording, it's all like... Anyways. Uh, I'm gonna film with Anna now, if I remember. Bye. I don't understand when people are like, that's a camp. What does that mean? Uh, camp understand. is a fashion thing. It's like a, it's a type of fashion. Cause I hear people like talk about it in like, not a, like a dressing sense. It's just like a situation. They'll be like, oh, that's camp. Like, what the fuck does that mean? You know, I haven't really looked it oh, up. I just know that camp is a type of fashion. Like I know for the Met Gala one year, the theme was camp and no one followed it and everyone was pissed. Well, yeah, cause it's like, it's so hard yeah. to follow. It's like some sort of like really crazy out there fashion. Like, it works. I guess we can look it up. It's so tongue to so can. Um. I'm going. We waited in that line. Yay! What, what, an hour? Oh, I need to get on the right way. We waited in that line for like an hour for the tattoo thing because a bunch of tattoo shops are having a deal since Friday the 13th. Dude. Yeah. Um. But it's fucking nuts though. People are waiting in line for like eight hours at a time to get a tattoo that's like fucking the size of my phone. That's insane. Yeah, and it was, yeah. it hadn't moved at all since we had gotten there. So we decided to just go back to Honest and not wait for hours to be. Yeah, we probably been waiting for like five hours, probably like six before I even got in there. And then I'd have to wait another like hour. Because she was like, Liv won't go with me. And I was like, 
Mm, I don't know if I want to either. There's too much to unpack there and it's just can't be done right now. I don't want to. Um, but yeah, that's the video. What is, what do I say? Huh? Au revoir, biatches. Bye. Peace and love. That's the one I say. I was, I was thinking it.